Welcome to the latest Cardio Shorts podcast, brought to you by MedSynapse. Cardio Shorts covers a diverse range of clinical and scientific medical content that offers enriching insights into the world of cardiology. In today's episode, we will discuss the guidelines on the management of blood cholesterol formulated by the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology to improve cardiovascular health. As we know, atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of mortality worldwide. The burden of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is very high, especially in the United States and Europe, in comparison to other chronic diseases. The guidelines in discussion are intended to concentrate on the practical care of patients with high blood cholesterol and associated diseases and to disseminate the information on cardiovascular conditions and their management. The first step of guidelines for the management of patients with clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is to give counseling based on evidence. Counseling is more important in patients with fasting or non-fasting hypertriglyceridemia due to the presence of triglyceride-rich remnant lipoproteins, confirming atherogenicity and lifestyle modifications to reduce these particles. In patients with clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, LDLC, risk-based therapy and initial triglyceride-based therapy, is dependent on LDL levels and patients' risk level. Patients with high risk of clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and hypertriglyceridemia were suggested non-statin therapies with upregulation of LDL receptor expression. For those with LDLC, greater than equal to 70 mg per deciliter, Azetamibe was the preferred drug with PCSK9I. For further reducing the LDLC, bimpozoic acid is recommended. In patients with non high risk clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, but persistent hypertriglyceridemia, characterized by triglyceride greater than 150 mg per deciliter to lesser than 500 mg per deciliter and LDL greater than equal to 70 mg per deciliter, Azetamibe is suggested, but not PCSK9I therapy, as recommended by 2018 Guidelines of American Heart Association and American College of Cardiology. When LDLC is greater than 70 mg per deciliter, with persistent triglycerides, redressal of lifestyle modification, or addition of IPE as next step is recommended. For the management of patients aged less than or equal to 40 with diabetes mellitus, but without atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, with fasting triglycerides, greater than equal to 150 mg per deciliter and non-fasting triglycerides, greater than equal to 175 mg per deciliter and triglycerides, lower than 500 mg per deciliter, the guidelines recommend lifestyle counseling. For patients with very high triglycerides but poor glycemic levels, Glycemic control is advised as per 2021 guidelines of the American Diabetes Association Standards of Medical Care in Diabetes, as it has a positive influence on plasma lipids. Statin therapy is advised strongly as per the 2018 guidelines, regardless of hypertriglyceridemia. For patients with diabetes mellitus and 10 years of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk, Azetamibe is added with the maximally tolerated statin therapy. In a trial named Reduce IT, the use of IPE was supported for the risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease in adults aged greater than 50 with diabetes mellitus. There is paucity of trial-based evidence for adults with hypertriglyceridemia aged greater than equal to 20 with no diabetes mellitus and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Thus, as a preventive measure, lifestyle counseling is suggested, as atherogenicity of triglyceride-rich residual lipoproteins are present. If hypertriglyceridemia persists even after lifestyle modifications in adults aged between 40 to 75 years, the guidelines suggest a 10-year atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk assessment, with the polled cohort equation to categorize patients having less than 5% as low risk. 5 to 7.5 percent as borderline risk, 7.5 to 19.9 percent as intermediate, and more than 20 percent as having a high risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. 
Patients aged less than 20 with severe hypertriglyceridemia, VLDL is more prone to metabolic disorders like diabetes, obesity, etc. Hence, increases the risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. In such cases, lifestyle counseling comprising medical nutrition therapy is suggested. In patients with 500 to 999 mg per deciliter triglycerides, 20 to 25% calories from fat are advised, and 10 to 15% when triglycerides are above 1000 mg per deciliter. The American Diabetes Association standards of medical care in diabetes recommend the addition of IPE or omega-3 fatty acid ethyl esters, if triglyceride level is still high, even after low-fat diet and fibrate therapy to prevent acute pancreatitis. The guidelines helped in addressing the issue and management of hypertriglyceridemia. This concludes our today's CardioShorts podcast, brought to you by MedSynapse. Thank you for listening.